people that I didn't see as well as a large playing. crowd consisting primarily of mutons protested the continued closure of the starport today insisting on access to the facility artisan glorva of the ship workers league had this to say those starships are sacred territory to keep us from them is yet another cruelty one we have learned to expect jacinda schultz of the starport authority responded prudence is not cruelty we can't allow access to the facility until it is deemed secure. Celio Dash reporting for Channel 37. Yeah, okay. I, I'm looking at uh, my mixer in OBS, and I'm looking at how, my, how loud that came through. It seems like the background noise is what's coming through fairly quietly, but like all the sounds are coming through loud enough, so I'm going to pull it down a little bit. Uh, but again, bear with me with the noise, because I can't really live hear how it sounds for you guys I've been, i did a few tests before it didn't really come through like all the game sound didn't come through at all for real but you know we really can only can only like see how it goes it'll be like the first few videos until i know exactly where i need to set it at right what we left off is a bunch of uh promotions apparently blue bud is a new character for us uh from season one i guess is what i'm calling it the first playthrough to this one and blue blood uh the first shot in each clip disorientates the target blue blood automatically activates overwatch if the last action of their turn is spent moving including using abilities that can provide movements such as subdue or stabilize um is it overwatch in general or overwatch in a certain area of course disorientating with that first shot in the clip would be nice too but i think this is going to be better tactically yeah because there are many instances where we would just have to move a character and if we do it like this then blue blood can just be moved into wherever he needs to be and then go into overwatch claymore is immune to the effects of any grenade and environmental hazard claymore regenerates a charge of carry grenades at the end of each encounter that was a powerful move for us last time and we know we can get armor that does this to give to claymore anyways he doesn't move that much either so it's really pointless for us to give him anything about well not it's pointless to take an ability that's about uh environmental hazards when i know i don't move him that much uh and we have zephyr my absolute favorite character i like i like zephyr the most and twerk the most those two are my favorites twerk can control a battle and then zephyr is just an interesting concept but we do have two scars on two different people right now and Schultz is also a new character too and so it's kind of a shame that we got a uh, scar on him so quickly we are also playing on a higher difficulty with this one as compared to when we first played so there is that as well um let's see we still have enhanced armor going that's pretty good i know what i don't need out of here i think i still remember what i shouldn't get and what i do need to get improved field teams is definitely going to come next since it's on priority Hope, hoping that it is still on priority when we get back to it um I don't think we have anybody extra right now yeah because he's in training so i guess it's time for the next thing to do we have a good amount of elite we have a free field team which we should put down we should have been and put it down actually uh right now we have tech finance and security so we're probably gonna get more intel now so i'll put another tech one right here and just i'm just gonna go across where it's all tech all finance all security down the line hmm yeah i guess we'll do this one our intel is or our alarm is the lowest right now so i'll go for the intel i right, not intel the alarm actually <laughs> uh we managed to locate and safely recover the informants without blowing the cover through mpd is extremely grateful all right he's healed of his the continued protest of the starport's closure grew contentious as several terrestrial supremacist groups arrived to counter protest said artisan glorva of the ship workers league these people share the beliefs of those who killed mayor nightingale they seek to provoke us well, the city does nothing. A masked spokesperson from Earth above all insisted otherwise. Alien pilgrimage? They want access to armed starships inside that port. Of course we're here to say otherwise. More as it develops. This is Celio Dash for Channel 37. Yeah, okay. 
so again this is similar to the first playthrough where uh they're just upset basically they're not being allowed to access what is essentially their heritage it's like if we took the native americans off of their land which we did anyways like not native americans wiped them out of their own land it's, it's like that and then getting mad at them for wanting to go back to their land so it really doesn't make any sense i'll swap claymore out to continue this and put shelter on the team so i can find out more about them so it does make sense on why they're upset 50 intel or 35 illyrium um i think for now we have enough illyrium but we also could get closer that's too high <laughs> yeah this is way too high to be allowed but it's only gonna or i could just do the mission here because this has four days left anyways and we have three days worth of um three days worth of investigation left or three three space for that uh unrest to go higher i lost my train of thought in the middle of the sentence i'm gonna i'm gonna have to do this one though to bring it down by any meaningful amount because i'm gonna bring it down by one and then it's just gonna go up to two and be maxed out anyways what i will do is what i will do is probably still if i freeze this district by one then i'll have enough time to finish it before it goes over and then everything else to be fine so i'm just gonna do this mission now uh our position took and took a hostage when they realized through mpd had them surrounded we need to move in before this turns into a bloodbath Reclamation training spent a lot of time on hostage situations, so you know how it goes. Focus on any hostile who threatens your VIP and get them to safety as soon as you can. Okay, it looks like we have to redo everybody. That or I forgot how little stuff we actually had, which is probably more true. Let's see, we have no gun attachments yet. Nothing here. We have a breach charge and a medic kit. We have chase rounds and trank rounds. We can give him what do we want to give him these rounds may have five percent aim to an agent when equipped to an agent so i'll give them to him uh, and keep his aim high because he's really good at shooting is what i already know and we'll give the trank rounds you already have the med kit so you'll get the trank rounds yeah that's how we'll do it and you can get the i don't know if anyone has any breach um effects yet I know she does, but that's kind of her constant thing. She can breach from uh, different locations. What is Dazzle? Such a launch is a sonic blast that disorientates all enemies near the breach point. Targeted enemies. Okay, so there's a breach thing. So he's the only one who I know for shit doesn't have a breach effect. So I'll put, give him the breach charge. That way he does have one in case we need it. And we'll go ahead and move into this. I spent all that time talking about the breach. We only have one breach uh, at this point. So it didn't matter that much. Prepare to recover friendly VIP. All right. All units entering here get 25 defense for the one round. Enemies dealing one less damage uh, at this breach point. Or all units through this entrance get 50 dodge for the round. This one has the least amount of danger. So I might send Shelter through here. Can he from here? No, he can't. Let's see. start with blue blood if we put shelter second can he do that thing that he has no so it is uh after he jumps in is when that comes into play torque and then zephyr all right i think we're ready to go breach breach and i forgot who we're fighting Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Gotta get used to the game again. Toxic greeting, or I could just shoot. It is three to five. Toxic greeting will do three damage and poison. Either way, it looks like we're not killing him. 
doesn't matter who we use toxic greeting on of these two he's gonna start being poisoned anyways and we want to take him out i don't think and then we have him way over here Found a sign of class that sword sets all enemies near the breach point targeted enemies is disorientated for an extra turn so let's see what this does okay so we got two people over there three people actually disorientated okay that helps out a oh didn't see him in there but we were able to disorientate one two I saw someone else back here being being disoriented them too interesting how they hit their shots today there's our VIP. very many hits Rescue and recover. as well so that's interesting dead eye take a shot with the 15 percent aim penalty for a 50 percent damage bonus I mean, we don't really have to do that we use subdue on him right here and this will also put hostile is down um, and out blue blood into overwatch Hopefully he doesn't take another shot at Shelter because Shelter already has three damage from the beginning of the breach. Oh, you'll regret that. Cool. I'll take it. So that's why we gave him the trace around. So I had a feeling he was gonna be um like that basically, just killing everybody. This gets our hostage to safety, or at least to where we can control them. And we can almost take him immediately out too. I'll put him. I don't think I'll put him in a good spot, actually. Yeah, definitely didn't. Can you reach the other agent? No, you can't. Oh, that's number two. Who's number three? Him in the corner. So maybe I did put them in a decent spot to keep them safe. Take this shot on them. Hopefully, right. I thought I put him out in the open for, um, that unit in the far corner this one to shoot Target at but i think he's play. fine i think this is actually just a, um a civilian too all right so now you're pretty much on cleanup duty splintering i didn't mean to do that either i was going for the number two um Number four is gonna go for the uh for the um shit, hang on. Number four is fly. about to go for the hot hostage. Hostage, there you go. Almost said hostage. You're lucky I don't bruise. Don't play it down if it's bad. Okay, we'll use team up on Zephyr. On Zephyr. That way she can get an extra turn to go for number two. I don't think we're getting any effects on her stuff yet um and we don't have a good shot from him either unless we can relocate to a better angle now let's see if we can make this shot that's better i'm still gonna go for it because i have nothing else Missed, to do through as expected he expects to miss ah oh, that's trash i gotta level him up so we can do more with his um it's psionics because it sounds like he knows that he's not a good shot which i don't want to hear from any of our agents expected to miss anything yeah that's how that shit happens expected to miss restart mission god damn he said as expected come on now Prepare be confident to recover, friendly to try it. or just be confident and then miss there's nothing wrong with confidence I don't think overconfidence has killed anybody yet. Uh, no, that's a lie. That's definitely a lie. Overconfidence has gotten plenty of people killed, but still, we'll put you through the main entrance. That way you can try and disorientate uh, everyone up front. This is probably gonna be better. And then we'll go this order. We're heading in. That would also help because that's how he took damage in the beginning. And you can use Dazzle want to make sure that we hit um want to make sure that we hit one of these two uh aggressive units that way it uh decreases their aim overall and it looks like we got all of them so now they're both disorientated 
That looks pretty. Oh, didn't expect that. It looks pretty cool overall, though. Let's see. Use that on them. Who's the alert? They're alert. They're right there. I go for the legionnaire actually with this. That way we can only have one shot being taken potentially. Oh, forgot that her stuff goes after the breach. The paladin was still able to hit his shot interestingly because they were the one that was actually hit with the design so was supposed Target to get hit a play. more powerful effect with them. They're moving, everyone else is just surprised. VIP spotted. You are go for rescue. Uh, show to sonically swaps positions with the targeted enemy or ally. It does not automatically end turn. Who's number two? Number two is right here. And number four, three is right there. So do I have a good shot at number two? I don't. What about number four? I'm trying to take One somebody to out of this about. turn order. But I don't think they're in an angle to do anything right now. Target acquired. Interesting. I don't think it would ever let me take that, that shot because I don't have an angle from you that good? corner, but whatever. What's that I do? I could take them out immediately. Go for it. Don't do like normal damage. All right. Oh, shit. We use dead eye first. It doesn't take a uh, take an action. I remember this now. Oh, uh, yes. That's why it makes sense for him to move because he can take shots and still go and move and subdue. <clears throat> Hostile is down and out. And he's in Overwatch now. I miss. Cool. That's fine. That's fine. Target weapon in sight. Weapon unaffected because they missed, I believe. But they did go into Overwatch. Who's number two? Can we get a tongue pull on number two? Got him. All right, cool. Fine. This almost kills him instantly, too. It's the funny part. Well, not even the funny part, but just the cool part. And now we have Zephyr who can go for their number two. And now they're rooted. So hopefully they don't immediately go for the shot on their on the um hostage though. That's not what I expected. Another scar for my collection. That's not I don't think that's gonna Leave give you a scar alone. though. I could relocate with them, but he's already so weak. Let's try and relocate with them anyways, though. The hostage, I mean. Castling. That's cool. And then now we can take a shot on them. And I was hoping to be like a 100% chance to shoot with like Not super high effective. critical. Instead, I got Grab like the normal shell, shot. Then tear the meat. Didn't need that today. Yeah, we're getting messed up right now. Bros, you're bleeding. Uh, this gives us two Heads shots, up. or you can just miss. Not okay. my best. Later, let's train. Damn. So you gotta get your weight up, little dude. Ah, Found shit. Stop. Right now, our, our pistols are garbage, tough. too. I forgot how low the damage is at the beginning. Target weapon in play. It's going to take him out of it, yeah, if it hits. And Zephyr is the one who has our medicate. Uh, sustain bind. Do I want to do that? You're dead. Don't get cocky. That hit. Still mobile. Next time, don't get hit. He's winning out. So now we're back to number one's turn. Yes. Okay. Knocked a few scales off. We might be don't better off using some too. Nope, we can't use subdue on them. From here, we can stabilize shelter.
and then we can take a shot on either one of them really doesn't matter at this point if we can take a shot on number two though that would probably be better as long as we hit yeah got him can we move to subdue this unit we can I, I, st I thought she stopped right there for a second. Shame you didn't resist. Also, it looked like she just bumped his shoulder. But I got her free. So now Zephyr's free to take her turn. And we still have not secured the, the hostage either. They're rooted it's like now. It's hitting start. The goal is not to hit the armor. And we can move over here and get the hostage uh, able to move. But we can't put him right there. I think right here is really the best, the safest bet because that one hostage won't be able to see him from here. And he can't even move. Boxing in target. Missed me. Out of ammo. We just team up with Zephyr. then we can start moving people to the exit this also puts him in overwatch smashing extremity smash the hostile you can put her on to evac Um, now oh, we got that hostage out of here. All right, try. I was gonna try and use tongue pull on the uh, the hostage, but I guess that doesn't really matter. I should have just went for the exit, I guess. Legionnaire. Adder and a paladin. Can he make it to the exit? He could have just made it to the exit too. Moving All right, so now there. we really just have to hold this position and hope that they can get too close and get an angle too on much us. At stake. Miss? You gotta get up. I'm out. Yeah, you can stabilize her. And then get yourself out of here. Moving. Eyes open. Damn, these, these missions are way harder than they were before. Well, not even harder, but the enemies are just better. So I have to adjust my whole play style. Because before it was kind of just like running. I can do whatever I want, so I'm going to win anyway, type of thing. Now I'm getting gravely wounded. I'm just barely completing these miss missions. Locals say the best jobs are in the state. Stakes? Stacks. Wow. And it's hard to argue. Funny thing, five years ago, I kept my head down. Today, I'm proud of this city. What we're making here is going to change the world. Once we can reliably deliver it to the world. Stay at a bug town, a local guide to City 31. So we completed the assemblies, completed the assembly, which is enhanced armor. So we can start getting that in now. Uh, we have another Over a grave dozen wound. were injured today before 3-1 PD could break up protesters clashing outside the starport. Commissioner Maloof condemned the fighting. Of course, protesters should speak their minds. We want a war for that privilege. But 3-1 PD will not tolerate violent protest. Artisan Glorva of the Ship Workers League issued a statement. We follow your rules, and yet only mutons were injured today. If 3-1 PD can or will not protect us, we will protect ourselves. This is Celio Dash for Channel 37. All right, the unrest is looking pretty uh, average. It's not that bad. It's only these two districts that are getting pretty high. 
So overall, we're doing okay. Um, if we want to, we could build another field team too. Um, which I think I'm gonna go ahead and do because might as well. Uh, finance one. We can do uh, finance one here. And start a new assembly before I did start an assembly. So we're still good on Illyrium right now. So I go for the Intel actually. Um, oh, we have enough to build another one. So technology, finance, and security. Yeah. And then we'll go ahead and get this. We'll go ahead and get this. And so Ruin PD has been unable to dismantle an Illyrium smuggling ring in the city. If we help locate one of the safe houses, Ruin PD will turn over the impounded content to us. Uh, another Illyrium smuggler in custody. The smuggling ring will likely go to go to ground for now go to ground for now go underground for now i'm confused anyways tensions at the starport increased today as muton protesters arrived with what appeared to be clubs artisan glorva of the ship workers league bristled at the suggestion these are tools for fixing starships they are spiritual implements not weapons a leaked video from earth above all seemed to urge escalation if they swing at you, it's their ticket back to prison. Wear thick padding, provoke verbally, and make sure it's on camera. More as it develops. This is Celio Dash for Channel 37. That last little bit is actually very interesting because it seems like what the police would try and do in real life in America. Uh, provoke the, the non-violent protesters because as soon as one person acts out, like acts in a violent manner, that's their cue to take down the entire protest. So as long as they can get under one person's skin, they can do whatever they want to after that and deem the whole thing a violent protest, which seems to be what happens in most cases anyways. But it's kind of interesting how now in this game, it's kind of like Earth Above All isn't the police. Earth Above All, I think, is a separate um, entity outside of the police. I think it seems like it's like a civilian thing. I'm going to go back and play the rest of the XCOM games once I finish this little playthrough for fun and actually give y'all the whole lore and get the whole lore for myself because i really don't know it so that's that's probably what's well not even probably that's what i'm gonna do next because i do like these strategy games too um but yeah it's very interesting how they do it like that but uh that's gonna be all for this video thanks for watching um i'll see you on the next one it's glad i'm happy to be making videos again i haven't been able to do this all summer it's mostly just been me sitting around watching youtube uh going to work had summer classes passed those classes too count two first try barely made it but i made it that's all that matters c's get degrees although i'm not happy with the c it's still something better than it's better than failing and have to retake it because that would have been a waste of like a thousand dollars or something uh it's just, that's like a thousand dollars worth of uh tutoring basically spending a thousand dollars for two months of tutoring but that's going to be all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, check out my other stuff in the, in the, in the comments, in the description below. Uh, glad to be back. I'll talk to you probably in like two seconds for me. And like, I don't know how many days for you. I don't have a new schedule for how I'm putting out these videos yet, but bye for real. Cause I keep doing this thing where I keep tacking on at the end. So I'll talk to y'all later.